Hello, friends. In this video, we will be delving into the fascinating world of electric current, its units, properties, and crucial importance in various applications. Electricity has an important place in modern society. It is a controllable and convenient form of energy for a variety of uses in homes, schools, hospitals, industries, and so on. Electric current and circuit. We are familiar with air current and water current. We know that flowing water constitute water current in rivers. Similarly, if the electric charge flows through a conductor, for example, through a metallic wire, we say that there is an electric current in the conductor. In a torch, we know that the cells, or a battery, when placed in proper order, provide flow of charges or an electric current through the torch bulb to glow. We have also seen that the torch gives light only when its switch is on. What does a switch do? A switch makes a conducting link between the cell and the bulb. A continuous and closed path of an electric current is called an electric circuit. Now, if the circuit is broken anywhere, or the switch of the torch is turned off, the current stops flowing and the bulb does not glow. How do we express electric current? Electric current is expressed by the amount of charge flowing through a particular area in unit time. In other words, it is the rate of flow of electric charges. In circuits using metallic wires, electrons constitute the flow of charges. However, electrons were not known at the time when the phenomenon of electricity was first observed. So, electric current was considered to be the flow of positive charges and the direction of flow of positive charges was taken to be the direction of electric current. Conventionally, in an electric circuit the direction of electric current is taken as opposite to the direction of the flow of electrons, which are negative charges. The SI unit of electric charge is Coulomb, C, which is equivalent to the charge contained in nearly 6 by 1018 electrons. We know that an electron possesses a negative charge of 1.6 times 10 to 19 C. The electric current is expressed by a unit called Ampere, A, named after the French scientist, André-Marie Ampere, 1775 to 1836. One ampere is constituted by the flow of one coulomb of charge per second, that is, one. A equals one C slash one S small quantities of current are expressed in milliampere. One milliampere equals 10 to 3 A, or in microampere, one mu A equals 10 to 6 A. An instrument called ammeter measures electric current in a circuit. It is always connected in series in a circuit through which the current is to be measured. Note that the electric current flows in the circuit from the positive terminal of the cell to the negative terminal of the cell through the bulb and ammeter. 